بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ٹوڈے ویڈیو یو آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ہاؤ ٹو ہوسٹ ڈیٹا بیسٹ آن آور ہوسٹنگ سرور سو نا اوپن یور براؤزر اینڈ لاگ ان ٹو یور ہوسٹنگ سرور آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو لاگ ان ٹو مائی دس ہوسٹنگ سرور دس ایکچولی دس ای پینل and I went to username and password and then click on the login buttons before hosting must check your database will be correct on every side I'm going to upload on all these database um, student HV tracker this is the hybrid bus tracking database so first to verify all the tables and then after that right click and get the script from this database but before this step first write this name of your database and go to your hosting server okay now the hosting server is the cpanel is login successfully then simply go to the database section and then go to your domain I am going to this domain which is the trad pro dot uk and uh, after that I am going to add the database so the, your database names that's not must be same but I am going to same uh, to uh, make these two, two database name is same so now I am entering the student HB tracker and then select my server which is the uh, hosting uh, on my hosting server which is the MS SQL server 2017 and this is the version 14.00.1.0 so now select your server and then select your website or maybe not it will work so and also enter here the username and password so i am writing here that it, uh, a username is a um, student tracker okay and then i am going to generate here database so uh, sorry uh, password so So this step is must. If you are allowed this user to access all the database and your uh, and this subscriptions means on this hosting server. So then select this option. Otherwise, click the OK button. But before click the OK button, you must save. You must copy these all information and your text file. So I am going and create simply the text file. So now I'm going to write here and create simply the uh, notepad file. I don't know why the system is too busy. So now I'm going here and write here the student HB. HB mean hybrid bus tracking. So or tracker database. And uh, this is the database name, which is the database name is this. Sorry, this is the password. Control X uh, password. And then this is the username. Username is this one. And the database name is this one. So now and the last is our server main server address so this is the HB tracker this is the uh, related site and this is the username and password and then click on the OK buttons so it will take some maybe one minute but I have internet is maybe accurate so that's why it will create okay 
now the database is uh, created successfully which is the student hb tracker but hey and this is the site for this database the trade product uk if you want to change then click here and change your website okay i am going to this trade product uk and i am getting the uh, ip address because this ip address is uh, on this ip address is allocated this server so that's why i'm uh, we, uh, we signing this website so website domain click on your website and domains our server is this mms sql server 2017 so i am writing here this dot slash ms ms sql server 2017 and then once the domain okay this uh, detroit product uk now click on your domain now click on this domain so and this domain you will get your ip address of your server so now and below this is the 103.143.176.152 this is our ip address on which this server is installed okay so this is important because without this ip address you can't connect to this server so now save these changes so now our database is created successfully so now close your hosting server because we need only these credentials okay now how to access this database on or this server and then how to access this database which is the hosting one so simply go to your ssms visual studio which is the microsoft sql server management studio and simply click on this uh, connect to server and then go to your file and copy this url your url because on this ip address this instance is installed okay so now SQL server authentication select and enter your username and password this is my username and this is my database password so now copy and paste and also mark the remember password and then connect okay so now the server is going to be connected okay the server is connected on this IP address okay so now simply click on new select this database folder and then click on the new query so then you will get any result here the student hb tracker okay so now the database is created but here we have no table inside in this database okay so how to upload this table to this database means from this database which is on uh, local or on local server to hosting server okay so simply right click here and go to the task then go to the generate script and then click on the next select the specified table or entire database I'm going to select the entire database then next but the best step is to select your tables to procedures and so on but here we are only select the select specific database object and this database we have only tables okay so that's why here showing only the tables but okay skip this i'm select the select entire database and all objects all database objects so next then save to clipboard or save to new query window okay so i'm going to select the save to new query window and then i'm going to select this advanced and then select the schema and table because here we want to create the script with data inside in these tables so now select uh, select the save to new query window and then click on the next okay 
and then click on the next and now wait let's take one to two minutes not more okay the tables all objects is created and, and then click on the finish button and copy this all code to the hosting new query window this is the hosting SQL server hosted server so now paste here and remove these below lines and then scroll up and remove this file also from this okay so now one time execute this to confirm your database is selected and then deselect and simply click on the execute button and now wait for to get the result inside in this result window if you have if any error inside in this scripts then you will get in the message section which is this one here see all the messaging all the process is showing here so if you have any issue any uh, compatibility issue is occur on this script then you will get inside and this message otherwise your result is, is showing here command executed successfully so now wait it take one minutes or two minutes not more depend on your script on your database script so this is the simple way to upload your database to your hosting server if you have any question related to this uh, video write comments on the video we will respond quickly it's take a long time because we have a lot of data inside in this database okay that's why otherwise it's take 30 second one minute two minutes not more okay it's going good okay it's going good properly showing the insertion records messages okay now the insertion is still going means the table is completed here the this code is on executing this insert query is going to execute okay okay now the query executed successfully now you see the uh, the result here query executed successfully it means our database is ready to use and our database is uh, completely uploaded with our existing data okay i'm going to disconnect my this local server and now you see here your the database which is the uh, the name is uh, okay i'm searching here uh, student hb tracker now i'm going to click here and then go to the tables so you will see here all the table is uploaded with data okay i'm going to click on one table which is the driver table so now select then you will see here this table will up upload it with data so this is the simple way to how simple way to how to upload your database on hosting servers so if you like the video like share and subscribe the code of the of youtube channels